In this tutorial, we will be covering how to build a fast, lightweight web application without the plot. We will cover how to initialize and structure our project with GoatStack for the frontend and PocketBase for our backend. Before we begin, there are some prerequisites that are required or good to have before starting following up with this tutorial. I expect you to be familiar with code fundamentals and code foundation, meaning that you understand how code works and how application are coded. At the end of the day, it's a coding tutorial. In this tutorial, we will use Go and Go packages. So it would be good to have some Go syntax awareness and to uh, be familiar with the Go programming. Also, if you have some web architecture understanding, it would be great because we'll dive into how to build API calls and how to communicate our front end with our backend. You need the proper environment for development in this in your computer that you will follow up with this tutorial so you probably need go installed on your computer and you need a code editor to write your code what will be covered in this tutorial is a project scaffold so we will understand how to scaffold our project by beginning to initialize our project in a directory using a make file that will do this setup for us then we'll start set up our backend infrastructure by installing pocketbase which is a backend as a service solution that will cover up or streamline our development in the backend side from the backend we go to the front end and actually start building our ui components and start establishing our routing system lastly we'll cover the core functionality of the application and how we are going to manage authentication by user and authorization and ibi call and managing data read and writes. The application that we're going to build in this tutorial would be a social interaction application. People could sign in or sign up and then create some cards. These cards will show up on the homepage just like this. Each card would have a title and whenever the card is hovered, it would show another content for the card and the actual likes numbers of this card. And you can uh, like a card and you can see each card in its content and its likes. To sign in, hit the sign in button here or we would go to the dashboard and this would be our dashboard. So here we can create a new card and then hit submit. We see the card immediately in the dashboard. If we go back to our homepage, we can see the card right here. As we are authenticated, we can maybe give likes to some cards. We can remove our like, add the like to any card as you can see. From the dashboard as well, we can edit our card, we can delete the card as well. So maybe we can create another one just to trigger the delete functionality. So create a new card. Now we have two cards. We can delete one of them just like that. And it's gone. If we go back to the homepage, we can see that the latest card is the card that we actually created. And as you can see now, it shows in the actual homepage nine items. If we create more items from here, maybe we'll create another card. Now, after we created more than nine cards, we can see that the load more button appears here. And when we click this button, it would load more cards, okay? The cards obviously uh, are sorted by latest and this simple application would actually be useful to showcase a lot of the code stack use cases. And also we will use PocketBase so you can learn also how to manage your data with PocketBase. 